engine was originally built in 1908 by Baldwin for the Bach Lumber Company in Gainesville, Florida. Uh, it bounced around the East Coast for many years, but it ended up in a scrap yard out east. Uh, George Thacker found out about it and bought it, shipped it out to California, flipped it to a couple of people out there who Brooks Rather was one of them and he was supposed to restore it but he let it sit for 25-30 years in his yard until I came along and uh, through Dave Clokey who built the Leviathan, the York, the Lee Confino car, several passenger cars which I've been helping him with over the years. Uh, we came to agreement and I went out and bought all the components, had it shipped in and we started to restore the engine. What I got when I bought everything was basically an erector set. There was no two pieces together. And we had to sit there and figure out what went where because there's no prints, no blueprints, nothing. We had to, to figure out what we had to do to, to make it work. Dave Clokey was the, 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 I have to admit, he was the master mechanic behind this. And with his help, you know, we just had to, you know, figure out where the parts went, whether the part was serviceable, did it need to be repaired, did it have to be replaced. And because of some things, they cut it apart with torches. And so there was some repairs and stuff, but framed down, we probably had 70, 80% of the components framed down. If it needed to be fixed or replaced, we did it. Uh, we spent about nine, nine and a half years on it. And again, it's not solid. I'm running a plant. I'm going out on the weekends and helping Dave with building his stuff. And we're volunteering back and forth between all the stuff that was going on. Yeah, could have been done a lot faster. Oh yeah, but it's again, we all got full-time jobs we had to take care of first.
seeing it run now has been the gratification that I've been waiting for over 10, 11 years now. Uh, you know, now that we got it operating, yeah, we got a couple little things we got to take care of, but that's all part of operating a steam engine. And uh, yes, to say that it's finally there and it's working and we're not breaking down every other hour or something like that, that, that means a lot. I mean, it's, it's a relief off our shoulders.